Hello, 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 Spriggans. Today we're going to be getting all of your Aether Sand Sun Guilds on all gatherers. Let's go. So first of all, we want to get our first node, which is going to be our mining node. And this one can be found um, as the electro coal, electro coal. And it is in Heritage Found in Shock Tyrol and East Yasalani. And you can see here it is up from uh, 20 hundred to 100, which is 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eorzea time. Then we move on to a harvesting node called Gold Branch. And this one is also in Shock Tyrol. It is in Shiloni. And it is open from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. Okay, so our spirit fishing node is going to be in Yaktel, and we have it right here. It's going to be our sunlit prism. This one is up all the time, but you're only going to be getting one or anywhere between zero to a maximum of three sunlit prisms per node. And a lot of times you do get none, so it can be kind of boring. However, they do give, if you have max collectability, they give between six to eight, but it is available all the time. We're going to go over to um, Kazumoka, and actually this is going to be a fishing spot. So we're in Yachtral, Kazumoka, and you can either go to Earthenshire or Many Fires, and it's just going to be Marsh Lagika, and we're going to be wanting to get Shovel Nose Catfish. You can get the Peacock here, which I haven't gotten yet. It is very elusive to me so far. Uh, so if you want to get your peacock for orange scripts, you can go here as well. And then our final node is going to be in Yaktel, which is going to be in this fishing spot here. Uh, this is Shobit Soli, and we're going to the Horn Frog. This fish is... you have to prepare for this one, and I'll explain that in when we get to that section. But essentially, if you want to get the Horn Frog, it is available. Uh, I don't have it unlocked on my info here, but it is available from uh, 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. So it's a very short fishing window, and you're going to be you need to prepare for it. So if you're going to go to the mining node before this, you won't be prepared for this node. This is something you have to do just solo. However, it gave me 84 at once. <laughs> so it gives you quite a bit for the amount of time you put into it compared to the other nodes. Uh, so there's three nodes here and we'll do our regular rotation for it. So here we are, electrical, scrutiny, scour, scrutiny, Power. No proc, so we'll try to get a free one on our uh, meticulous prospector here. And we did not. Hopefully, we get a Eureka. Dang, unlucky on this one. You can always get a revisit though. So we'll collect all these, just the two. Yeah, no revisit. That was unlucky. We'll use a high cordial and we'll go over to the next one. So I'll just do an ethereal reduction on these, just to show you. So here we go, we got our earth crystals and clusters, and our sun gilt aether sand. There we go, we got four on this one, so that makes up for the last one. Yeah, on average you're gonna get three per node. I also got late to this node. I got here at 10 p.m. Yeah, we're just gonna sneak in a high cordial here. So let's try and get as much as we can. Here we go, we got to a thousand. Now we'll collect. No uh, solid reason on this one, unfortunately. We just ran out of time, but that's okay. Uh, the thousand to me is more important because you're guaranteed your sun guilt. You get way more clusters and crystals at a thousand versus anything lower. Even 999 is just significantly lower. We got our gold branch. We're going to use our scrutiny and scour. 
Hopefully we can get a proc here. And we did. Awesome. So now we do another scrutiny and scour and that will bring us to 1000. And we can use Aegis words, old man. No Eureka, that's fine. So now we'll just collect. We use our high cordial in between. We'll go over to the next node, and then I'll just do an ethereal reduction just to show you what we're getting here. Alright, so we're getting our sun guilt either sand, and then we're getting wind clusters and crystals. And then we'll wait to get to 800 GP on this node. Hopefully you get here right at 4, it gives you just a little bit more extra time. If you are doing the 1000 GP, you'll definitely want to be here right at 4. Here we go. We've got a nice little proc. And now we can try and use our Meticulous Woodsman on this because we got the proc. And there we go. And it was a free one. So we'll do a collect. Aegis words. No Eureka, that's fine. We did get the free one. So we're getting a total of four on this node. And no revisit. That's all right. So we'll go over to the next one. We'll wait for our cordial to come off of cooldown here, and we still got uh, two hours a or a time to collect this last one. So it definitely is worth it to get the 1000 because I did uh, one earlier that was only 950 and it didn't give me a single Aether Sand, whereas the 1000 will always give you Aether Sand. It will also give you pretty much double the crystals and clusters. This is why we pretty much always want to hit 1000 collectability on these. So we can see what recipes are used here for Sun Guild Aether Sand, and it's going to be all, all of our Grade 1 gem drafts. And then it's all going to be used for our Grade 2 gem uh, saps, and then all of our Grade 2 gem drafts, which are the new raid potions. And if you look at our food, it's going to be used in our new food, all of it. This is why we want to get as much as possible right now. Okay, so our cordial is off cooldown, so we'll use that. There you go, and we got a nice little proc there. Uh, if we use our meticulous wisdom here, we only get to 950. That's why we're going to use our scour to get to 1000. And I mean, if we used our meticulous wisdom and we got that proc, that would have been nice. But we didn't know, right? So we use our Eureka, or sorry, our Aegis words. And now we just collect. And then obviously using braze, Brazen Woodsman is just a gamble, so it's up to you if you want to use it or not. But you want to aim for at least three per node on average. And there we go. Okay, here we are at the spear fishing spot for sun gilts, as I've done in a previous video. So we're trying to get our sunlit prism here. And uh, as you can see, it's in this spear fishing spot the western Ikrash solely. When we do our spear fishing, let's find the spear fishing how far on. We're gonna be using nature's bounty every time. Here's our sunlit prism. And we'll get this shiny one because it, it has a chance of getting, uh, any large size catch has a chance of getting you, your angler's art up. It's just, if you're going to be here for a while, it's it's worth doing. Otherwise, you can just move on. You get anywhere between 0 and 3 sunlit fish on a single node. But yeah, it, kinda, it is quite boring, and you do have to sort of pay attention. Because the fish is not as obvious of a catch compared to some other spearfishing nodes. Okay, here we go, here it is. And here's the slower one, that one, the small fish right there. The speed difference is very slight. But, uh... <clears throat> yeah. Also, make sure you have your collector's gloves on. And, uh, you have inventory room if you're gonna be doing this for all. Although, because you're only getting, like, one or two per node, you don't really need that much room. Here we go, we got five, and then we're getting our water crystals and clusters. The crystals are being used like crazy right now, so this is one of the reasons why this is also a better farm. And we'll get another four there. If you want to catch your crab, 
the Ikarash Crab. Uh, you can catch, I think it's uh, 16 Glistening Discuses. And then you can actually go over here and you can catch your Speckled Peacock Bass. I think you need three of them. And then uh, once you catch your 16, this node will pop up. But the crab will only show up once you've caught Speckled Peacock uh, Bass. And as well as the other fish, the Wyver Cod. The Wyver Cod is also a collectible. Uh, it's going. These are both going to give you, I believe, orange groups. And then you can also, because the time nodes are time nodes, you can actually go and do those in between when they are available. You can set an alarm in game if you'd like. Okay, here we are at another fishing spot for the Sun Guild Aether Sand Ethereal Reduction. So we're here, our closest Aetherite is going to be Mini Fires. Uh, you can also come from uh, Earthenshire, and it's this lake right here. So this fishing spot, Marsh Ligigaka, um, and we're looking for the Shovel Nose Catfish. So for bait, we're going to be using our Popper Lure for this one. And uh, just make sure you got your collector's gloves on. And as far as catching this fish goes, uh, you're going to be wanting to use impatience. And it's just a pretty standard catch. It's a double tug, but we'll just catch everything for now. You can also get the yellow peacock bass here. Uh, which I believe is a time restricted node. Yeah, it's from 12 to 1 p.m. So 12 to 1300 ERC time. Yeah, so we are looking for that double tug. Uh, we got a mooch. I don't know if the shovel nose can be caught off of a mooch, but if you are going to be catching your yellow peacock bass, this is the fish that you put into your spareful hand. And so we got the stingray there, so we'll surface slap that, and hopefully we can get another double tug, which will mean we'll be getting our shovel nose catfish. You can also use big game fishing here if you like, but usually you want to save it for your legendary fish. If you are going to be trying to catch the yellow peacock bass, it's pretty, it's a hard fish to catch. Yeah, so there we go, we got the shovel nose, and I'm gonna pop a water cordial, just so we can uh, identical cast that, and then I'll use my big game fishing here, and do one more cast, and this one will be extra large. So the last one we just caught was 130.8 elms. Let's see if we can catch bigger than that. You can see it does have a late bite time, around 15 to 22, I think. Okay, so that one is 131.7. So let's ethereal reduce those and see what happens. So the bigger one is 130, or well, collectible rating is 1317. And we got six from that, and we also got our ice crystals this time. And then we'll do the other one. And we got three from that one. Okay, here we go. We're at the fishing spot to get our horned frogs for our sun guild either send. And I'm gonna just do this for demonstration purposes only, but I showed up really early to the node, like it's only 4 p.m. is your time. And this frog is up at, uh, I think it's at 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. So I've caught my swim bait early but I'm here a little bit too early. So what happens if I move from my fishing spot? I lose all my swim bait. So really you don't want to come here like too early to get your swim baits. Uh, I would say five minutes beforehand is good enough. Uh, I was able to catch those cloud eye carps very easily. And because we are placing them in swim baits, we can actually just use prize catch and catch them. And then if you have enough GP, you can also use a dental, identical cast to get another one. You can use the identical cast 
before right before the window opens and then in a, with enough time to get your GP back up you don't have to use a cordial in between because you want to save your cordial for while you are fishing just in case you want to get more chances at this fish uh, because the last time I ethereal reduced it it gave me 24 for one frog so I'm gonna see what it's gonna be like as a the maximum amount of fish that I can get in a single fishing window, which is only two AORs yeah, hours long, so it's a very short window. This is why you want to use the new 91 ability, Spareful Hand, which allows you to put swim bait in your tackle. But if you move from your fishing spot, or if you come here too early and fish everything up, and then you get the message you need to move, then yeah, so you, you don't want to come here too early like I did. Okay, here we are at the fishing node. I've pre-prepped everything. I've got all my swim baits. I have an identical cast ready. And I have 10 angler's arts ready to go. So we're gonna pop our patience. I'm gonna use a cordial right away. And then I'm going to catch another cloud eye carp. Here we go, so we're gonna mooch this fish. We can't use big game fishing on that first one, but we can use it on these swim baits that we have here. So that I think was a bit too early, so that's probably going to be a Sunbright Axolotl. It was unfortunate, but that's just part of fishing. Yeah, there we go. So we can use big game fishing here. We'll use this as our swim baits. And hopefully we can get our horn frog instead. Okay, that was too early, so we're gonna let that go. It will still eat up our bait, but it won't use up our big game fishing. This should be a horn frog here. Awesome, so we'll use big game fishing again, our last swim bait. I think that was a bit too early, so we'll just let that go. And with this one, if this is a cloud eye carp, we're actually gonna put it into our spareful hand. Though it wasn't. So we'll pop another patience, and here we go. We've got about three minutes left on the window. So a very short window. Hopefully you can catch more than one. Might be another lobster. Hopefully it's not. Okay, so we'll put that into our spareful hand. There we go. We could have used identical cast, but we didn't have enough GP at the time. The reason why I'm putting it into my swim bait is so that we can keep using big game fishing because we have our angler's arts up. I'm just going to pop a quick cordial in between since it's off cooldown now. Cancel your cast without quitting. You can use the rest ability. It's also a way of getting rid of your catch faster. Here we go, we got three, so we'll catch one more. And this one we'll just do a regular mooch off of, if we get it. We have just under two minutes, or about a minute and a half left in the window. All right, here we go. So this time I'm just gonna catch everything. That looks like it was in the horned frog time window, I believe. The earliest it bites is 12 seconds. I'm not too certain on that. Okay, so here we go. We'll get one in, one more cast in before our patience runs out. These are going to be our last two casts. Hopefully we can get another frog. I have gotten more frogs. Um, it's just, of course, when I'm recording, it's when I don't get them. <laughs> I think this should be a frog. There we go, big game, last catch. We had like a few seconds left, so the window just ended, but we put our cast out so we can still catch the frog because we cast our line before the window ended.
So there we go, that should be another horn frog. Looks like we caught three on this window. Awesome. Okay, so we can stop fishing here. So we got our three here. Our collectability is 395, 395, and 396. So pretty good. So we'll do an ethereal reduction on these. And we got 27 from that one. 29. 30 for a total of 86 for those three frogs. <laughs> so obviously if you like to do fishing rather than spear fishing, this is definitely the one you should be going for. Other than that, the botany and minor nodes are timed just like this one, except if you are going to be doing this one, you might want to skip out on the, the mining node just because the timing overlaps. So this one is from uh, 8 till 12 a.m. and the, this fishing window is from 12 to 2 a.m. but you want to come here early to get your spareful hand swim baits up. Okay if you like this video give it that thumbs up make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the live streams. Bye for now.